The fabled Amber Room is said to have been one of the finest masterpieces of 18th century craftsmanship ever produced. An enormous room, made completely from panels of pure amber, encrusted with various gemstones and inlaid with gold. A room to dizzy the senses, a room fit for a king. Estimated to be worth around 500 million US dollars today, the Amber Room vanished in the final days of World War II. Somewhere out there is one of the world's most famous lost treasures of all time, and to this day its whereabouts remain unknown. The Amber Room was constructed between 1701 and 1709 at the behest of King Frederick I of Prussia to be installed in his palace at Charlottenburg. The room was a superb example of craftsmanship and artistry, and was a spectacle to behold. Upon the walls of the room were enormous panels fashioned from tons of Danish amber, which was encrusted with various gemstones and inlaid with gold. Upon these sweeping panels of gold and gem-covered amber were installed ornate mirrors on golden fittings that were meticulously decorated with even more gold and pieces of amber, as well as jewel-emblazoned mosaics trimmed with, you guessed it, even more gold. The overall impression was of a shimmering room completely made of gold and amber that was said to blaze into a fiery brilliance when lit up by the room's 565 candles. It was purportedly such an awe-inspiring sight that it was often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. In a diplomatic move by King Frederick, the room was gifted to the Russian monarch Peter the Great. It was dismantled and shipped to Russia, where it eventually became installed in St. Catherine's Palace, just outside St. Petersburg. Now occupying a larger room than before, additional gold, jewels and amber were shipped in to complete the new installation. The room now covered an area of 55 metres squared, and was estimated to contain over 6 tonnes of gold, amber and gemstones. Subsequent Russian rulers inherited and maintained the room, and it was regarded as one of Russia's prized possessions, an exquisite work the like of which existed nowhere else on earth. During 1941, during the height of World War II, Adolf Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, and in a surprise attack, Germany invaded its former ally. As the German armies advanced through Russia, soldiers of the Wehrmacht and the SS began a looting spree unparalleled in history, ransacking cities, palaces, museums, and shipping the booty back to Germany. As the Germans arrived on the outskirts of St. Petersburg, the curators of the Amber Room had no option but to try to dismantle it in order to move it to safety. However, by this time, the amber panels were very old and brittle, and some of it began to crumble as the curators attempted to pack them into crates. So instead, in a desperate effort to disguise the precious room, the curators covered the amber with wallpaper. The ruse failed and within 36 hours, the Amber Room had been stripped down, crated up, and shipped off to the Baltic coastal city of Konigsberg, a city used by the Germans as a kind of transit hub for looted artworks. By August of 1944, as Soviet forces approached, plans were made to evacuate the Amber Room to safety. Under orders from Stalin, Soviet bombers attacked the city. The castle was hit and began to burn. After this, the Amber Room vanishes from the pages of history. It was never seen again. Was the Amber Room simply destroyed in the attack, or did the Germans have time to spirit it away before the castle burned? Was it saved, only to be lost again, as the final days of the war raged on? We know that some pieces of the original room survived. In 1997, art detectives in Germany raided the office of a lawyer involved in the sale of one of the original amber panels. It transpired that the seller's father had been a German soldier, who was thought to have stolen a part of the mosaic as it was being packed up for transit out of Konigsberg. In fact, there is no reason not to believe the amber room survived the bombing of the Konigsberg castle. No evidence of it was found in the rubble, and the Germans would have had plenty of time to move it prior to the Allied attacks. So what became of the Amber Room? Has it been crated up and forgotten, left lying in dusty wooden crates in some obscure warehouse, a victim of misplaced paperwork and Soviet secrecy? 
Or perhaps it was loaded onto the mythical Nazi gold train and whisked away in the night to be sealed up in an abandoned railway tunnel somewhere in eastern Poland. Or are the amber panels carefully hidden in a series of old World War II tunnels deep beneath the Aura Mountains of eastern Germany, protected by booby traps, the soldiers who hid the treasure long since dead? Or how about hidden in a Nazi bunker, abandoned by the retreating German army? The list of possible final resting sites seems to be never-ending, as do the headlines of the next imminent finding of the room by amateur treasure hunters. The current theory of the whereabouts of the Amber Room is that it lies at the bottom of the Baltic Ocean, part of the cargo of the torpedoed ship the Karlsruhe, sunk in 1945 as the eastern city of Konigsberg was being evacuated. In 2020, Polish divers announced that they had found the wreck of the ship with its cargo of porcelain, military vehicles and packing crates. Items which looked like picture frames tantalisingly hinted that the ship may have indeed been carrying looted treasures being evacuated ahead of the Allied advance. The Polish Maritime Authority is set to rule on whether the wreck should be searched. As of the making of this video, the Amber Room has still not been found. In all likelihood we will never know the ultimate fate of the Amber Room and even if by some good fortune the room is discovered, historians believe that the amber would be so degraded and damaged by now that it may be impossible to restore. So it appears that the closest any of us will get to seeing the amber room is to visit the incredible replica on display at the Saroskai Selo State Museum Reserve outside of St. Petersburg. Begun in 1999 and completed in 2003, the Amber Room replica cost millions of dollars to create and as a result of four years of toil by skilled Russian craftsmen. Inaugurated by Russian President Vladimir Putin and the then German Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder, the room is now open to the public. So once again, Russia has its famous Amber Room, but the fate of the original is a mystery which may never be solved. <laughs>